to the madness. All right, folks, how's it going? Denise Daffy, and welcome to another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Right, okay, so this is not where we left off. That's because I did a little bit of re-specialization on it, Darius. Um, I wasn't happy with his spell selection, so I went ahead and gave him some new spells, but taking out some old ones. But also, um, apart from that, everything's the same, stat-wise, feet-wise, no problemo. But the only problem was when you kick him, when you respecialize a mercenary character using the respec mod, kicks him out of the party. So you have to go all the way back up to Sustale in order to bloody bring him back. So that's what we did. But we are going to be uh, camping. Yeah, we're going to be camping anyway just to get back our fatigue. So we'll just do this quickly ish, I guess. I mean, I don't see why not. You can go and hunt in. Um, you can go and watch order, you can go in that as well. In fact, you know what, what does, um... Oh! Everlight's Blessing, Tristan prays to Merciful Seren Ray. Doubling HP recovery and regeneration from ability damage. It's not bad. What does a Merry do? Increasing the damage by one, the first battle within the next 12 hours. Okay, that's not too bad. And Inspiring Competence. Plus two bonus on the camp chief skills. Those increase plus one for every four level links it reaches. Okay, that's not too bad, but I prefer it to be on the watch order anyway. Um, we get a plus five from here. We get cost under cooking. And I guess, Mary, you can go sharpen your blade then. That'll be all right. All right, so we'll just do a quick rest. The trials and tribulations of your fruitless land have hardened you, Amiri. That's right. A southern boy like you wouldn't last a day with us. You'd either freeze or someone would eat you for a snack. <laughs> wow. And that's Tristan's voice actor. Uh, do you know what? I've got to admit, I do like the, uh, I like the sound of it actually. It's pretty nice. It suits the character. Right, so anyway, I'll go over the new spells then. So, um, with Darius, as you can see, his stats are near enough the same. We have 12 strength, 40 constitution. This was 16 at level 1 by up to 17. We have wisdom. And our Christmas still the same as usual. Um, going to abilities, yeah, just the same as, just the same as last time, really. Um, ability focus, um, simple martial, medium proficiency, stuff like that. Yeah, just the same. Um, so going over to his spells then. So here's the thing about spells. Um, we had like Shillelagh, and we have some other stuff as well that personally I wasn't too happy about. Uh, because here's the thing, one of the spells, Acid Maw, did not work how I was expecting. With Acid Maw, you need a companion, or you can do it on another person's companion if you wish. But here's the thing, I got my spells mixed up. I meant to get this, Savage Maw. So this is personal, but the extra damage comes from ourselves. So with Savage Maw, you see if extend and sharpen, transform your mouth to Maw of Rage of Sharp Banks. You gain a secondary bite attack that deals 1d4 points of damage plus your strength modifier, which is only a plus 1, which is fine. See, with this, this is what we need. This is what we need to do fine strikes, which we which we have, basically. But this gives us a second attack, so we kind of get, like, two attacks with this, so it's pretty nice. Because I think the bite attack, if I remember reading it up, I think it's a free attack. You don't need, like, an extra action feat or some kind of ability to give you an extra attack, so I think it's just free. Uh, because it's a long strider, plus 10 to movement. And going with the controlling stuff, we have Obscuring Mist to give us a bit of defense. We also have Entangle, of course, Entangle as always. Going to level 2, we have Flame Blade. Yeah. We also have Sickening Entangle this time. So, Sickening Entangle. We can go to info. Uh, basically, it's like a Tangle, except there's a chance we can apply the Sickening Condition. So, as a Tangle, so it plants a code to an irritating sap. Any creature that's in the area must succeed as fortune save will be sickened as long as it remains in the area. So it's pretty cool actually, pretty cool. Uh, we got spike growth as well, so spike growth is um, another control spell to some degree, but every time they move in, they can take 1d6 points of damage, and it's a 40 foot range, which is pretty nice. Uh, any creature that takes damage from the spell must also succeed a reflex save or suffer injuries to its feet and legs as slow as its base speed by half. Another really good spell. But also as well, one thing I noticed, when it comes to meta magic, you can have more than one. I did not know that. I thought with meta magic, 
I thought you could only have one meta magic at a time. This changes things. So for example, with Arisa, this quicker spell, we can actually throw things in. We can actually make these spells. Uh, we can actually make these spells. Other things like Quicken, for example. But for this, we went Mets. Uh, we went. Well, also, we have the Hated spell, which increases the spell level up to its maximum. So Flame Blade. So we're going to be doing like nine. So um, according to the info for Flame Blade, which is going to be its main attack, to be fair. Uh, deals 1d8 points of fire damage plus 1 per 2 caster levels maximum 10 since the blades in material strength modified does not apply but basically it's 1 level per 1 minute per level of the spell I believe uh, sinking entangles the same thing but basically all this just means that we get more damage more uh, more fail saves because of a higher DC and stuff just personally it makes him a bit better oh sorry his weaponry as well so his weaponry as well uh, we have a bow and we have why am I meant to take that light shield off? Uh, yeah, so we have two sets of weaponry from. This is going to be the Flame Blade slot, so we cast it at the beginning of the fight. It's a little too spot, but a deal fire damage seems pretty nice, but you need a free hand to do it. Um, I am planning on getting his Falchion. Uh, there is a Falchion plus one that all excels, which is all the way back up here, which, to be honest, I'm not going to go up my way for. But there is a Magic Falchion that you can get which works with the class's founded uh, favoured enemy. So, favoured enemy, when you face up against your favoured enemy, you deal more damage to him. But with this sword, you deal an extra 2d8 damage, I believe, and it's force damage as well, which is pretty nice. So yeah, ultimately, it's pretty good. But, I'm going to stop, because what we are going to do is we're actually going to go back in here and we're going to check out the rest of this uh, Golden River. And then, we might head back to still stay and see what the problem is, because we have a... Stuff is going on there, so we can carry on with that then. But we're still heading towards the mud flow. It's just... We're just exploring as we go, you know what I mean? We've got enough time for now, let's say. But I don't want to mess around. I don't want to take too many detours or whatever, you know? I mean, the only reason why I was resting was because with um, the exhausted condition, you get minus two on your strength and your dex. But I think they get dropped down to zero, so you're going to have to rest. And you know what? I just realised I have not put a timer on. Bollocks, let me just see how long I've been recording for and I'll make it up for it. I've been recording for 7 minutes, so to me that's going to be 33 minutes, something like that. So let's put a timer on, sorry, give me a second. Very unprofessional, definitely very unprofessional. Perfect, there we go. So I'll take it to about 40 then. Right, well, without further ado, let's carry on then. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing fine on Dandy's site. hope everyone is doing good. I'm not doing too bad myself. I'm not doing too bad myself, just after my tea. Big tea as well, big one. That's steak and chips. <laughs> the tea night. Bought steak and chips. Bought chops, sorry, rather. And. Oh, hello. Right, let's get into the fight then. And I'm just. I just feel full. And I just feel really sluggish today as well. But I'm not gonna. Oh, these wolves, man. Thank you. But what I was gonna say was. Holy shit, we have an alpha wolf. Um, what I was gonna say was. I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing an entertaining episode for you lot today. So anyway, let's see what we can do. Alright, let's get some attacks in. That's a miss. That's a hit, very nice. And that's a miss. Okay. No problem. Okay, Costa. Costa Rhea. Uh, what do we want to do with you, my son? What are we going to do with you, pal? Reduce person. We could do a large... Oh, actually. A large person. I didn't realise it was ranged. Right. Let's see if we can do this then. So, let's, uh... Now, here's the thing. We are going to be... Okay, so this is our height spell, right? I think it is. So, let's cast it. Oh, nice. Very nice. And can we attack? No, we have to attack next turn. So, that's cool. That's cool, that. Ooh, it's a scimitar. Oh, a cutlass, what you want to call it. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. We could have done that before, but hey up. So it's six minutes. Okay, cool. Okay, so Tristan, let's have a look. So we got blessed weapon, we got fireball. Um I need to change up his spells actually, like his prepared spells. Some of these I like, some of these I do not. Bless, Sanctuary, Move Fear. 
Uh, fireball. Actually, we could just do fireball here, actually. Just to get rid of this rabble if we can. And not to mention, you are quite bunched up. Perfect. There we go, that's how we do it. <laughs> fireball. Great against mobs. I think I might put... Um, I think I might make... I think I might make Tristan into a cleric fighter, I think. Yeah, I might make him into a cleric fighter, I think. Just to make him a little bit more martial. We'll see. Okay, we've got delay poison, we have silence. We could probably try and cast sleep, maybe. Give it a shot. Sleep doesn't work, it's just remembered. I know it does work. <laughs> we got one of them to sleep. Alright, I'll do. Okay, Amiri. Um. Oh, because that's twice. I think we can cleave, actually, can't we? I think so. Let's have a look. Well, first of all, we're going to rage. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to cleave. So the way cleave works is we attack one person, and then when we attack, that extra attack moves on to another person. And if we kill that person, we move on to another one. So it's a really good, well, I mean, it's a good cleave build. You know, it basically attacks multiple enemies. Or we could get a critical miss. <laughs> Thank you, Amiri. Thank you. And you even got that plus one as well. Like I said, that hits, so that's kind of crap. Okay, uh, let's go for this way a little bit. And try three attacks. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a hit. Hey, I'll take it as long as it takes him out. Alright, Costa, let's go for a nice, uh, a nice explosive bomb if we can. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. But we can actually attack. Nice. Nine. Okay, so that's 1d8 plus 5. 1d8 plus 5. Where's the 5 coming from? Is it coming from Wisdom? No, 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 no. It's coming from the um, it's coming from the height of spell. That's what it is. It's coming from the height of spell. That's it. Because I believe height of spell takes your. Because I think height of spell takes your. Yeah, maximum up to nine. Increases the effects of level of spell it modifies. So the spell depends spell level. I think the height of spell doubles the level. I think. Oh, am I thinking for power? I might be thinking for power. I'm not sure. All right, just let's get in there as well. That's a miss. Let's the attack. That's a miss. Let me come around here and attack twice. Thank you. Nice. All right, not bad. All right, skin these fuckers. Nice. That's all. I'm ah, moving on. Are you fatigued? Yeah, fatigue is big. Right then, um, let's go down this way and let's see what we can find. I want to explore this entire map and not miss anything. <laughs> oh, look at the wee, the wee, I don't know, is it a rabbit or something? I shall oh, end this suffering. hello bear. Hello. Yep, yeah, level five. That should be fine. Um, sure, let's move down this way. Costly, can we take a shot? Yes, we can. I need to use this aspect of the Falcon ability. That's pretty cool. Right, okay, let's have a look then. So, we do have Savage Maw, which you can use with a Tangle, Spike Roll. Spike Roll's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Spike Roll's amazing. Um, see, this is where we would actually change uh, weapon spots. I think that gets taken off immediately, I think. So, let's just wait. Let's see if we can take a shot. That's 1 out of 10, critical miss. Amiri can't do anything, so let's wait. Tristan, um... I guess we cast, not light, virtue, I guess. Just one temporary hit point. Alright, now we can attack. Sneak attack, very good, that's because it's flat-footed. Uh, Costa. Yeah, this aspect of the Falcon ability, if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Plus three on perception and plus one on range attacks, which is pretty nice. I should really be using that. Power. 
woods. And I do believe ranged attacks come yes, under. I think ranged attacks come under bombs as well, I think. Nice damage, quick lit. Yep, 1d8 5 times 2. Oh, we got another bear. Oh, hello. <laughs> Straight to Mary, I guess. There he is. Okay, um, do you know what? Let's pop a. of a seat. And then let's move as close as we possibly can to get both. Okay, one of them succeeded, one of them failed. Ah, had to be the one that had um, low. Oh, we get free? Haha, <laughs> nice, that failed as well. Missed. A hit, very nice. 20, not bad. Okay, Tristan, um. Let's have a look. Blessing Faith, two to attack rolls. Faith Long. Damage, Restoration Touch. So, let's use Blessing of the Faith. Increase attack rolls by two. And then we'll move you back, so we're not going to get into melee range. Four, huh? Wow. Yeah, that one succeeded. Yeah, that one's out. Let's drop back here. Let's do three attacks. Hit. Hit. I miss. Alright, critical miss. That's kind of bad. It's fine. Alright, I'm going to go Choking Bomb. Let's give this a shot. So Choking Bomb is going to add a Fatiguing Saving Throw. It's Fortitude, actually. It's plus 10. Actually, no. It's Fortitude. It's too high. Am I reading that right? Is it a Fortitude Saving Throw? It is. So it's plus 10, so that's really bad. So yeah, I'm, we're not going to do that. That's a bit of a waste then. Let's just go for a normal Explosive Bomb. Nice, 28 damage. Holy smokes. Okay, that's anything better. Let's right, let's finish this guy this off. Way. Nice. Hmm. I feel like this 8 is... Hmm. Is, is the Flame Blade what we want? Hmm. I don't know. Right, attack. Yeah, these guys are out again. Oh, nope, not this time. <laughs> yes, and a hit. Alright, we can get some melee now. That's a miss. Ooh, critical hit. Mm -hmm. Ow. Nice. This void you, uh, this, what is it, the seed, I think it's called? I can't remember this. Really, really good ability, actually. Yep, dead. Nice. Yep, this build is really good as long as we hit. That's all that matters, really. Okay, um, let's go use Aspects of Falcon then. Let's increase our dexterity. And then we'll wait next turn. Um, do you know what? Let's add, let me look. We can add Frog for ability checks. We can add... Evasion, ha uh ha, -huh. snake, attack rolls, while making attack rolls and opportunity to plus AC gain stats, stag, life improvement, tigris, dexterity, uh, animal focus, let's have a look. Animal focus, deck of pain, I'm taking this back. Hmm. Let's cast Savage Mall, let's see what this can do. And then we'll wait until next turn and see what we can do. This is where I, step in. I just want to see what the spell can do. See if this will work. Sure, let's just go in for attack now. See, the thing is with um, this kind of build, I mean, relying on spells to conjure different attacks and stuff. It's... It is quite resource heavy, using the level 2 and the level 1 spell slot. I mean, it's a prepared caster. Is that right? Was it spontaneous? No, spontaneous caster. That's what it is. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad because it's spontaneous caster and we can get those spell slots back after every rest, which is near enough like one in four battles or something, you know? Good hit. Alright, let's have a look. So, full round. Uh huh. And there's the bite. Okay, so we do the bite. And then what? We cast. Fine Strike, not some nature's ally. Do we not have Fine Strike? No, we must not pick Fine Strike up. 
All right, we'll do that next time in the next level up. So if you pick up Vine Strike, we go Bite Attack. So that adds a 1d6 because we're using a Bite Attack. Yeah, so we got our 1d8 plus 5 from the Heighter Spell Flame Blade. We have our 1d4 Bite Damage. And with Vine Strike, we're 1d6. So that's 1d8 and a 1d10, let's say. So potential max damage of 18. Mm, it's not too bad, but like I say, it's more of a controller to be honest, so using Spike Growth and Entangle. I mean, we didn't really take full advantage of it because I didn't know other bears were in the back, so... You know, I didn't really have the chance to play controller, but... Stuff like that, you know? I think we got a good build here, actually. Just focus less on melee, um... Stop, stop relying on melee prowess and have, like, you know, control spells and stuff, that's the whole point. But I'm learning. So it's come to this. <laughs> yeah. This will hurt. That's a hit. Miss. That hits very nice. Cost surge one attack. Attack. That's some hits even with that. A calculated risk. It hit. There we go. So yeah, I think it is a 4D, right? 1D4. 1D4 plus 2 because you use your strength modifier and it's plus 2, so it's 1D6. Not bad. Skin, bit of meat. Okay, let's carry on. If actually you want Lindsay, do you want to turn that off, please? Or reuse it, I guess. Okay, whatever, let's re No, don't want to reuse it. Turn it off. Right. Let's carry on then. Okay, don't see anything. Nope. Up here. I feel like I better save it. Something in my mind is just telling me to save it. Interesting. Nice, what's this? Uh, okay, so we have Peridot, Jasper, and Jade. A good amount as well. Beautiful. I'll go ahead. Okay, what's done this way? Oh, Alpha Wolf. Wait, wait, so yeah, wait. so for example, this area right here could work, because we have four of them. So that could work. Um, let's have a look. So we do have less weapon we could do. Right, less restoration, arrow law, but that requires stuff. Uh, magic investment, armor, shield, mm -hmm. um, bless, sure, we'll go bless, okay, and then we'll move you back, because you're more backline, you need to give him a weapon, uh, I need to give him something, you know, alright, let's move forward and attack, yeah, we gave us our sneak attack, now these guys are going to move forward, but I'm hoping... Oh shit, I do realize they're in range. Oh, it's supposed to have a high uh, movement rate. Okay, let's have a look. So we can summon Nature's Ally if we wanted to. Um, let's have a go with this sickening... Um, let's have a go with this sickening tangle if we can. Seeded, frilled. Oh wow, that looks really bad, that. Okay, so we have... Entangled permanent. Sickened permanent. So, Entangled is minus two on attack rolls. And minus four penalty to dexterity. And also, we have Sickened, which is minus two on all attack rolls. Weapon damage rolls, same for skill checks, ability checks. So, because they have Entangled and Sickened... We've just given them a minus four in attack rolls. That's a juicy, juicy combo. I like it. That is very juicy. Oh, the blade persists. Nice. The blade persists. Okay, let's... Uh... So we might be able to cast sleep actually. Let's have a look. Okay, two of them fell asleep. The other two didn't. Alright, that's fine. Okay, Costa, let's get some bombs going on. Just doing a little bit of uh, damage control. If I can. Very nice. Alright, Alpha will spring forward. I think it's just got enough to get out. Did not want that. 
Did not want that whatsoever. Okay, that's two misses. Interesting. Um, what does Blessed Weapon do? Uh, Transportation makes a weapon strike true against evil force. Uh, the weapon in your primary hand treats as magic weapon for the purpose of overcoming DR. The damage becomes good aligned, which means it can overcome the DR of and evil creatures in addition. All critical threats against evil foes also must confirm so every threat is a critical hit. All critical threats against evil foes automatically confirm. Repent. Hmm. No idea. Let's miss. This is gonna hurt. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Very nice. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's be back. Good hit. I could miss, sorry, rather. Okay, now we can tap twice because we still have that going on. Uh sure. This will hurt. Well I didn't mean to switch his weapon, but <laughs> hey, what's so cool. Yeah, things are going a little to pot now. They are, things are going to a little to pot. Let's use our fascinate. Yep, three of them. Out for a turn, very nice. Uh, let's use another, actually, dread bomb. Let's have a look. 30 feet, rather than affecting the radius, the cone starts the alchemist extends. A dread hit from alchemist, but succeeding in a reflex save. DC is 10 plus the half plus the alchemist intelligence modifier, has the damage. So our DC is 10. Is 10. Plus three, plus two, so it's fifteen. All right, so that's how DC works. Let's uh, do have a little idea. Let's move over here. Direct. That works to me. Oh, nice. Very nice. I like it. Okay, tact. Oh, a cleric. Miss hits, very nice. Yeah, then we carried over. Justin, good hit. Uh, we get that three. Miss hit. Miss. Let's switch to the. Let's try this way. Twelve damage. One D plus five, so we have seven. I think that was. Not bad. When is the attack? Yeah, I understand. Soft cover and all that, I do know. Gets me back, let's attack. Good hit. Another attack onto our cleric. Bring it. <laughs> Double miss. Come on, just need a couple of hits, that's it. Miss. Tell you what, let's pop out extra attack if we can find it. There we go. So that's four hits. First one miss. Second one miss. Third one miss, fourth one miss. Yeah. I <laughs> feel fucking hell, dude. This should do it. There we go, thank you. Ready for anything. And then what we could do is we could dispel dispel dis dispel spell, dismiss spell, whatever you want to call it. There we go, not bad. Alright. Doing alright, just facing up a lot of uh face up against a lot of wolves right now, don't we? So yeah, I will admit, this is working a lot better. Yeah, Darius is working a lot lot better. Working well, hell of a lot better. Okay, let's have a look. So we got some more. Okay, nothing down this way. Alright, no worries. Let's get back to the bridgehead then. Yep, we get back to the bridgehead and then we can uh, cross this bridge to see what's on the other side. I tell you what, I do like the maps. I do like the maps of. Um, I do like the maps of this game. Do you know, this, I'm playing this game in my sci file and I'm not going to lie, when I'm not recording, I'm a lot more chill back and, you know, I guess super, super automated casual. And I'm really enjoying this game, you know? I really am enjoying this game. This game's awesome. Alright, let's cross the bridge. Let's assault there's no trolls underneath. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fucking irony? Look at that water. Look at that water, man. That water's beautiful. I know the way. Okay, let's go over there and see what this is. Dizzy Wood or anything, what it's called. Oh, hello. What's this? 
Cloak. Cloak of the Winter Wolf. Gold ring. Nice. What a find. What a find. Not bad. We still like a quick save button. I don't know if there is one. Probably not. Let's go. Okay, let's see here. So, let's go all the way to the right, and then we'll go all the way to the left. See what's... What? Anything? Nope. I'm half tempted to take away that... Uh, oh, bandit camp. Scroll hold person. Scroll haste. Very nice. There we go. I'm actually really tempted to... Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something then. It must have been a lie. Okay, so we have a bunch of bandits, so we could probably go sickening and tangle as usual. Use one big control spell to get them all affected somewhere. Ouch. I think we actually got more. I think that's actually a big bandit camp. Oh wow, they really have beaters on initiation, aren't they? They really have. Right, well, if anything, it makes our job a little easier, because we can just do one of these. <laughs> Man, I love the Alchemist. It's such a great spell. Such a great class. We do that. We pop one of these. All of them failed except for one. Um, should I use a little Cure Moderate Wounds on yourself, just in case? No. Thank you. Might be a bit overkill, maybe could have used lesser, but you never know. Uh, sure, let's have three times. Miss. Miss. Hit. Okay, what's the armor class? The armor class is 19. Alright. Uh, Darius, let's move a bit forward if we can. Let's have a look. What can we cast? What can we cast? We can cast another entangle. We'll put it here. Just in case. And maybe we can attack twice at normal. Very nice. Now I'm only doing that as a, I'm only doing that as a precaution. The entanglement, just in case it's a little bit more than usual, you know. Smith, Smith as well. Very nice. Uh, Costa, out of the bomb, please. I uh, may use explosive bomb, not normal bomb. Uh, let's pull back a little bit more, and then let's try a... Do we not have an AoE, like, babble? Hmm, could do. Silence. No, they're controlled enough. Hey, piece of screen. Sure. Use it, I guess. I don't know. 14 damage. Not bad. 3d8. Hmm, okay. Respectable. Um, we could probably go and attack. Yep. So come to this. <laughs> nice of playing. Let's try right, this. Try this again. Miss. Hit. Very nice. And the third one hit somebody else. Nice. Second segment save. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Chat, let's go. Hmm. Don't know actually. Let's go strength. Just to get some attack bonus, maybe. No, actually, let's go dexterity so it increases our. AC and our aiming. A calculated risk. Good night. And the second attack. Miss. Alright. Two more hits. Down. That's miss. Yeah, we still have three bandits here. Yes, miss. Uh, so yeah, we're good tangled. So chain mail, medium focus, heavy shield, plus two dexterity bonus. Yeah. Yeah, Costa. Same as before. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> One more left, and that's it. Any okay. last wishes? Attack. Um, can we attack? Or not? Yes, we can. Thank you. Nice. We attacks. One. Two. There we go. Nice. And then we switch over to you. And then dispel, dispel, this misspell. I keep saying dispel spell. Oh, this my this 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 miss. There we go. I'm trying to say bloody hell, I can't speak. Okay, so what do we have? Do we have in specials? Just the same old gear, same old gear. All right, let's have a look at the bandit camp then. 
So we got sweet syrup. Uh huh. It's done here. Have a dog tag thing. I see something. Nice. We'll get it in a second. What's this? Helmet. Pal. The Latchley of Negative Channeling. Okay, what the hell's this? I'll look at this in a second. It's not my lucky day. Oh. I failed. It is finished. <laughs> hey, we did it. Nice. Okay, two scroll of curious wounds. We got another gold ring and 200 gold coins. Very nice. Alright, let's see what's all this. What's that? Oh. Arcane Protector, a second one. Nice. Gold ring. Silver ring, silver ring, camping supplies, and 300 gold. Very nice. Okay, so this phylactery thing, where is it? Here. Okay, um... If the wearer of this headband has the ability to channel negative energy, it increases the amount of damage this ability does to living creatures or heals to under creatures by 2d8. Sounds like something uh, Jaithful would wear. Yeah, sounds good to me. But in terms of the damaging though, I mean... That has to be for the trust, really. But we'll keep our trust in the night. That's, that's not bad. That's really, really nice. If that's the main thing for us to come here, that's really nice. I'll take it. Okay, let's uh, let's save. Uh -huh. Now, before anything, however... Okay, let's just move here, because what I'm going to do is... Um, let's have a look. So, restorative touch... Shaken, fatigued, aid, and uh, okay, I don't want fatigue, second, staggered. I'd say, well, let's use a positive to heal living. Eight, eight. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's go again. Nice. There we go. That's a bit better. It's a little bit of healing for everyone. Okay, so we got stuff over here. Let's have a look. Sorry, Stitchy. Alright, well, we've got wolves again. Focus but this time, um, let's get the jump on them. Let's try Spike Growth, actually. Spike Growth looks good. Not to mention you take damage when they're walking through as well. Come on, you gotta cast a what? Nope, because it's taking a full round for him to do. Real. God damn it. <laughs> There's no point in that. Well, shit. I didn't realize casting it with the initiation just like that. It's fine. It's fine. We got some more um, some more bombs inbound anyway. Good night. Okay, let's do this. Good hit. Good hit. Number three. No, this. <laughs> well, we got more walls than we can count. I'm worried about this though. I don't think the rest of the walls have the movement. Take that back. Let's have a look. Now they're just doing pack tactics. Going after one of them. That missed, good. Okay. Are you seriously? Okay, you missed with the combat maneuver trip. That's not too bad. Right, let's try this again. Okay, we got some of them. That's very nice. I'm loving that ability. That ability is so cool. Yeah, yeah took a bit. Alright, let's move back, so we're off the front line. Okay, Amiri, um, can we still rage? Should be raging at all times, really. That's a miss. Okay. Um. Is our sword gone? Our sword is gone, shit. Okay, wait, well let's get it again then. And we'll wait. I should really quick it's battle ash, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Boom. Let's get to take a drink. Frost dry. <laughs> so it's backside again, bro. Okay, anything else we could do? Um we could do shield, we could do reduce person. Bombs eye, no, to keep one bombs. <laughs> That's always good, but just bombs. Nice, work dies. If you back a little bit. Okay, definitely back. Okay, who's the... You. Okay. We'll attack you. 
Miss. This gives a soft cover, right? Yeah, it's a soft cover. All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's getting really dicey now. Very dicey. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, our cleric's almost down. Yeah, it's down now. Fuck. I'm telling you, these guys are smart. They know exactly who they're going for. Our front line's just crumbled. It really has just crumbled. Try sleep. Right, two of them are sleeping. I was hoping for the big ones. But obviously they had the will saving throw. I mean... I mean, it's four plus three. Seven, really. Oh, wait a minute. Alpha. Oh, must, must be mean. Alright, no idea. Okay, start twice. Nice. Nice, okay. Start twice. Had a bite missed as well. Plus, so let's move back a little bit. Nice, move one down. I love it. Um, let's throw. Yeah, you're almost down. <laughs> you kidding me? Well, there's still a little bit of health left. Bro. Yeah, Tristan dies. He was unconscious, but now he's dead, dead. Bro. Man, these wolves are fucking pain in the ass, aren't they? They really are. Oh man, I hate trip. I hate trip more than fucking anything in the world. You just don't know it. It's a timer as well. Can we use Babble? <laughs> I just used Babble. I just... I think Babble worked like that. <laughs> wow. So Babble is for all of our guys. Oh wow, I need to dispel that next time. You're kidding me on. We can still attack apparently. I guess I didn't. Alright, I was just wondering. Oh, because of trip. I misread the situation. I thought Babel affected all of our party members though, I was gonna say. I was about to fucking Let's say. Try this way. There we go, not bad. Alright, Costa, let's just carefully. gang up on these guys now if we can. Yeah, it's like not change, so hate that. Right, let's pop speed burst. This will give us a little bit more speed. For a little bit as well. Man, these wolves are really, really bad. Did that guy just have his health just go up then? Or am I misreading the situation? I might be misreading the situation. Um. Try another sleep, maybe. Let's try it. Okay, one of them fell asleep. Not too bad. Okay, that hit, very nice. Okay, you're gonna get hit, yep, as you get not. Um, so anything we could do, we could do one try, we could do a tangle. Secure a miss, maybe? Just to help out, maybe about here. Because this will give us um, a little bit of defensive power. Because um gives us a 25% chance of missing. As long as we're in the, the mist, it's kind of like a, it's a defensive one, you know? Let's be back. Let's, uh, let's attack the Forces Wolf. Hit. Review back. Let's attack three times. Actually, no, let's just focus fire. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, I was just gonna get up. I'm wounded. Yep, you're wounded. Calm down. Not dead yet. It starts annoying me now a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Serves you right. Miss. Yep. Twenty-two armor class. They go down! That's it. Miss. Oh, it's in concealment. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you son of a bitch. I never expected that. There we go. Uh, I think we can attack still. 
Yeah. This should do it. Mr. Kasuma, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not even in the mist. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. Wait one minute. Let me read this. A misty vapor rises around you. It is situational. It is stationary. The vapor obscures all sight, including dark vision beyond five feet. A creature five feet away has concealment. Attacks at times. Am I reading this wrong? I think I'm reading this wrong. So, because we have it. Mm. The vapor obscures all sight, including dark vision beyond five feet. A creature five feet away has concealment attacks. So, is that a debuff for us in this current situation? Because we're attacking outside the mist, we're getting the, the we're getting the the debuff, not them. Am I reading that correctly? Because I think I might just screwed myself over a little bit. A calculated risk. Yep, yeah, your ass is down, definite. This was not part of the plan. Yes. Mm hmm. Uh. Don't know, dude. Just fuck off, in this guy if you can. That's a mess, are you kidding me? Yeah, it is as well. Motherfucker. <laughs> Great, so I've just done this wrong, Gunter. Yeah, just done us wrong. A calculated risk. Wow. I didn't fucking realize. There we go, that's the big guy gone. Cost straight from Mary. Right, let's focus on this guy now, let's get this guy done. Right, so at least I know how the vapors are working. Trista suffered a crippling wound. Nice. So we have to take a bath at the capital then. So we said. Death store. Uh, seen a vehicle or by great restoration, which we don't have. Aim carefully. Okay, right. Well, let's just have a quick scout the left hand side. See if there's anything here. If there's not, then we'll call it a save then. I'll call it an episode, sorry. Huh. Been a been an interesting adventure, this, isn't it? <laughs> it has. I know the way. I think we're gonna run into another enemy actually, one more battle, I think. Which I don't mind, personally. Well screen time, right? I'll go ahead. So as I keep these episodes to forty to forty minutes to an hour, then I'm happy basically. And there's something over here. More gems. Very nice. Yeah, we're on Death's door, so... Well, we're going to head back to Tustdale, I think, after this. Just because I want to... I guess... Well, I guess we'll drop off Tristan. Follow my lead. But we'll use the spell slots first to heal up first. Athletics check. Interesting. One of us up here. Okay, now I really want to check. Let's get save. Okay, what's up here? Nothing, so let's reload that. I'll probably edit this out until we do it. Okay guys, second attempt, not bad. Oh, an owl... Ooh, 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 an owl bear? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, do you know what, let's uh... Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's come back here in no time. Two owl bears in our condition. Hell. <laughs> we'll come back another time. Hey, at least we've uh, pretty much scoured the, the rest of the bridge, right? We have. Not bad. Not bad as well, right? Uh, let me have a look at Death's door, actually. Escape, and their hit people as a negative, they will truly die. Follow my lead. I d besides, uh, yeah, here's the thing. I just realised something, but we have an option. We have an option where our characters don't truly really die. So yeah, I think we should, yeah, we can carry on actually. And we got spell slots as well so we can heal up. 
Right, yep, none of that. Let's just leave. Alright, perfect then. Right, so, um... I think we'll go to the mud flow next. Yeah, we'll go to the mud flow next. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it an episode once we rest up as well, I think. Do a rest up and then we'll... Go to the moon flow and we can end the episode then. Yeah, um, now that we're near enough at the end of the episode, I apologise if my comments have seen a bit off. Um, I'm actually really fatigued tonight, so... Yeah, uh, I will admit it's pretty much affected the commentary, so, yeah, apologize there. But, you know, when you've gotten to the routine, like, I have to do a video, like, literally, um, let me just rest. Yeah, once you get into a routine of... Thank you for your caring, but I don't want to take up arms. These hands like to heal wounds, not inflict them. If you, but as I was saying, when you get into a routine of making a video every single day, you know, it's really hard coded. <laughs> it's hard coded to not take a day off, you know. Besides, you know, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing it. It takes, it takes a lot of my mind, I'll tell you that much right now. Alright, so I guess we're going left here, right? I think so. I scared the shit on me then. I really just scared the shit on me. Right, well let's go see what we're dealing with and we'll go and maybe end the episode, leave this off a cliffhanger and then we can start with a battle. I guess I've been going off, I've been recording long enough now, 50 minutes. That'll do. I just thought maybe we can get to the mud flow and that was it, but that fucking scared the shit on me then. Well, I think it depends. I shall end this suffering. What is it? Is it just goblins? It's just goblins. What level? A level four. Yeah, should be able to deal with this quickly enough, right? Eh, so that's a scimitar model. All right. Um. Do you know what? Um. Let's go summon nature's ally. No, number two, please. And um, we'll summon three mites right here. Get some numbers going on, I think. One. <laughs> One might. Bloody hell, dude. Right, well, let's enter in them. Oh, well, at least the might will be a distraction, maybe. Let's see. Ooh, that's a big hit. Two hits. Okay, right, well, let's deal with this uh, the best we can. What's this? Dog cutter. Lovely. A good bit of HP, actually. Not bad HP. Okay, let's get a bomb over there then. <laughs> nice. Lynx Eye, huh? Goblin Lynx Eye. Nice. That's a dragon. I was expecting something a bit worse. Actually, really accurate, though. I'll give him that. Going for a melee now. What are they? Like, are they a class? Fighter. Okay. You forced my hand. What's this? Piranha Strike. Swift. When wielding a light weapon or any other weapon you use for finesse, you can take a minus one penalty in all melee attack rolls and gain uh, plus two in all melee damage rolls. The bonus damage is halved if you're making an attack with an offhand weapon or second natural weapon. Okay. Right, well, we're already in combat, so let's start attacking. That's a miss. I mean, we let's deal with our backline first if we can. Wow. What's going on here? I'm class 18, Jesus. Yeah, this is going in for attacks now, aren't they? We are. Okay, Dawson, um, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go for another blade, I guess. Flame blade. I need to see if we can try and, um, I wonder if you can apply two different like, meta magics to one spell, like, go heightened and quick. You know what I mean? Probably have a look, actually. That's a miss. That's a miss as well. Let's pull back. Let's go. We attack as we can. That's a miss. That's a hit. Very nice. And that's a hit as well. Seven. Take it. Um, let's go another bomb, please. 
Boom. <laughs> I love it. I love these bombs. It's so explosively good. Yeah, I don't think we need to waste anything, you know. I don't think we need to waste like anything major, really. It's a mess. Mess. A mess. Wow. Yeah, these guys are really annoying me now. This should do it. It's a mess. AC is fifteen. Dude. Attack of opportunity. I think we killed them. Maybe. This will hurt. Hit. Hit. Open. Hit. Very nice. Oh, what's your AC? Your AC is 18. Huh. I was just got a lucky done. Get back. Um. No, let's try and keep our bombs for later. Good hit. Lindsay. Um, let's go here. Let's get a nice line of sight. Attack. Miss anyway. Uh, attack. Miss. Hehe, <laughs> there's the cleave. Love it. Gotta love it. There's a hit. Hmm. Yep, okay, let's go deal with the other archer if we can. Good hit. Don't want to waste any abilities, just go all out attack. In fact, you know what? Let's uh, let's just do this now. Because let's say we're done now. Yeah, that one done. Miss. Yeah, attack for opportunity. Attack for opportunity. I should, should be done soon. Last one. Nice. All done. Right, let's see what these guys got though. Beggars, padded armor. Uh, not really interested. Just junk. And we're not really near a store as well. No. Nope. Okay then. Right. Okay then. Right. Well, we'll end it here then. So yeah, I was just gonna wait till I get to the mud floor, but I think I think it's a good part to left leave it off. I think so. Yeah. Right. Well, Darius. Oh, Darius. New spells. A lot better. A lot better, but obviously we need to. I'm not sure whether just to focus on flame blade. I do like flame blade. There will be times when we need to use that to get past high enemy uh, AC because flame blade uses touch. And for a one d eight weapon, it's not too bad because we can, you know, we can add feats to it. Um, I'm thinking we might go for spell focus, maybe spell focus. And then pick the school that Flame Blade has, and I think it's Evocation. Is it Evocation? We'll have, we'll have a check quickly. Is it Evocation or is it Transmutation? It's Evocation. So if we go Spell Blade, um, yeah. So if we go Spell Focus Evocation, that means we could potentially get a, I think, a plus one damage to it. So it's going to increase the damage even more. Um, I would prefer to run a 2d8, maybe, but saying that again, um, most of our other attacks or weapons are like 1d6 and stuff, really, so I guess to some degree it does match in terms of what other people are using. So it makes sense then, but we'll see. We're still messed around. It's a class that I'm not used to, and to be honest, it's a bit of a build that I, I have really, not really have much experience in. I don't really have experience in gish builds, to call it. Um, I guess it's a term related to a person who does magic and um, blade work, I guess you could say. So, yeah, you know, like, I can't really give you an example, but you know, like, cast magic one hand, big blade in the other, that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll have a look. We can have a fidget around and see what we can do. So anyway, my friends, that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. And apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. And I'll see you next time. Take care.